you need to get clarity on two type of requirements these requirements are going to be the fundamental baseline of your complete solution there is one more set of requirement that is very very important what i do in these cases for the solution requirement i try to actually ask three very important questions that i believe everybody should ask in any arbitrary order this clarity you need to have before your next llld interview because uh whatever preparation you have done in understanding the design patterns in understanding writing clean maintainable code some interesting llld questions become slightly a bit more challenging when you have an actual database in which you have to implement the things for example if you see a booking system if you are making a booking system and let's say you have some in memory data store things are okay if the feature is going to be used by multiple users what is the behavior that is going to be there also try to get a clarity on an end to end user flow that okay what will be the eventual user flow that the user comes on the platform does a particular set of steps the user is prompted for a particular set of questions they do some let's say payment and so on so before moving forward in the video i have an important announcement for you so if you are somebody who is actually willing to learn advanced backend technologies then this is going to be the right platform for you so at algo camp we have launched our new flagship Lambda 4.0 advanced live backend development batch in which you are going to learn advanced backend technologies including fastify express js aws mongo dynamo db and what not this is going to be a power packed course in which we are going to take you from the very scratch very basics of backend technologies to the very advanced level by building a lot of interesting projects we are going to build projects like code sandbox clone we are going to build streaming app which which will include recorded movie streaming plus live streaming as well we are going to make applications like booking.com backend which is going to help you understand transactional capabilities integrations of payment gateways and many more all the important projects that we are going to cover in the course is going to be listed here and this is going to be an absolute live course where we are going to take live classes right and in these live classes we are going to do hands on coding experience to learn all the important advanced backend technologies you already know that backend is something that every important application needs and you can actually excel your software engineering career with these backend tech in the node js stack so what are you waiting for all the important links the complete syllabus curriculum all the details of the course is present in the description section below you can use the coupon code coming up here to get maximum discount off on the current price i'm really excited for the course i hope you guys are too and now let's get back to the video if you are having your next machine coding low level design or an object oriented programming round then there is a highly likely chance that in the first 5 minutes you are going to miss asking the most important questions that are actually going to drive the remaining 50 to 55 minutes of your complete round in this particular video we are going to talk about three very very important questions that you have to have to ask in the initial 5 minutes of your round so that you can actually ensure that your machine coding round and L or lld round is actually going in the right, right direction if you are somebody who is actually interviewing for let's say sd2 role senior software engineering roles then there is a highly likely chance that you will be having a dedicated round of low level design or machine coding what is a machine coding round or what is a low level design round i have already made a video on that my channel so you guys can go and watch that to get a clear picture on what is the expectation on these rounds now a lot of times what actually happens is that a lot of people actually just the moment they get the question from the interviewer that let's say you have to design a parking lot system or let's say you have to design an elevator system you have to design let's say a ticket booking system and so on the moment they get the question they immediately just start throwing up their answers telling what classes to build what functionality to build and so on but that i believe at least in my opinion is not the most appropriate way to go for before you actually start uh with the implementation details the low level design details the object oriented details of your solution you need to get clarity on two type of requirements these requirements are going to be the fundamental baseline of your complete solution now what are the two type of requirements the first type of requirement is going to be the feature requirement but the second type of requirement is going to be the solution requirement what is a feature requirement what is a solution requirement let me talk about this so feature requirement in feature requirement you are going to ask questions around what features the system should be able to support for example let's say you are actually making a ticket booking system 
so you can actually ask what kind of tickets are we looking at are we looking at movie booking tickets in which we have let's say a concept of theaters where we have a lot of seats user is able to book a dedicated seat of a particular theater which is having a particular show of a movie or is it like uh, let's say kind of like uh, a concert where you have let's say a particular set of sections in a particular section you are able to put a per, uh, book a particular seat of a particular let's say ground or maybe it's a comedy show and so on so you can see based on what type of features you are going to build the implementation details can change and if you have a clarity on what features to build the overall class design design you will be able to do based on those set of requirements and you will be able to make a more extendable and more maintainable design altogether also in the feature requirements always keep a clarity uh, on around the fact that okay are you going to support any kind of concurrent operations or not are you going to only support one one operation at a time or are you going to support concurrent operations all together if the feature is going to be used by multiple users what is the behavior that is going to be there also try to get a clarity on an end to end user flow that okay what will be the eventual user flow that the user comes on the platform does a particular set of steps the user is prompted for a particular set of questions they do some let's say payment and so on the complete user journey in a rough fashion if you are able to clarify that would be really great to go for but apart from these feature requirement that you generally definitely try to get there is one more set of requirement that is very very important that is solution requirement what is a solution requirement the solution requirement are the requirements which identify what type of final coding solution you are expected to build right now a lot of times what happens is that in a particular set of interviews the interviewer is only expecting you to have the entity diagrams made or let's say the entity classes made no actual feature implementation you have to do but let's say if you are wasting your time in doing a lot of feature implementation that that might not be the best way to go for in your corresponding interview so what i do in these cases for the solution requirement i try to actually ask three very important questions that i believe everybody should ask in any arbitrary order what are those let's start talking about those the first question that i always ask is that are we looking for a solution where we are only going to discuss the entities uh, with respect to the classes or the diagram or are we also looking for the implementation of a particular feature from the feature requirement that we have listed okay this question will give you a clarity that whether you need to only design the classes or code the classes and the relationship between the classes or you also need to code a end to end flow of a particular feature because if you have already practiced a couple of ld questions then you might be already aware that designing the right set of classes is slightly a different game when you come to designing or let's say coding a end to end feature because in a feature flow there will be let's say some apis which will be called some service layer which will be interacting some data access layer and so on a lot of other things come into the picture the type of design patterns that you have to keep in mind while implementing a solution can also be slightly more different so if you have this clarity initially that becomes very interesting and very good for your the remaining 50 minutes of the interview like for example there is there was a friend of mine who was interviewing for uber for an sd2 role in that particular round they were only expected to code the class and the entities and no actual feature implementation was done the just the relationship between the core entities of the system was expected whereas when i was interviewing for, for flipkart in the flipkart's machine coding round we were expected to not just have all the entities actually coded but we were also expected to code a feature for a particular type of a booking system right so keep this thing in mind the second question that you can ask is that for the data data access do we need to set up a, an interaction with the dedicated database or we can assume a in memory data store altogether in a lot of machine coding interviews you will be expected to not use a database and just use a in memory database altogether let's say you can make a, make a hash map or use some data structures to keep the uh, data stored in memory but there can be a set of scenarios in which the interviewer is indeed expecting you to integrate a database as well because some interesting ld questions become slightly a bit more challenging when you have an actual database in which you have to implement the things for example if you are making a booking system and let's say you have some in memory data store things are okay but the moment you integrate a database then the concepts of how you can actually put a pessimistic lock on the database or how you can put a optimistic lock on the database what kind of serialization strategies you are going to go for what level of isolation you are going to go for and so on all of these things start becoming very very interesting right so the second question that you should ask is around the data storage whether we want to integrate a dedicated database or we want to have a in memory storage altogether 
always keep one thing in mind that before your interviews like prepare your system in a way so that you are able to at least set up uh, like you have one running database server let's say a mysql server or mongodb server that in case you need that in your interview you are able to very easily connect to that keep that thing in mind now the third question that is very very important is for the communication and the interaction to the application do we want to implement dedicated rest apis or a command line interface based application is more or less fine sometimes in the interviews you might be expected to code a dedicated rest api maybe one end to end api altogether but sometimes that's not the expectation you are also good with having let's say one driver class in which you like uh, have let's say a user input coming up from the command line output is coming on the command line and so on right so this is also an expectation that you need to set prior why because let's say if you code your solution in a way such that let's say you didn't keep in mind that you might have to integrate a dedicated network rest api altogether then you might have to do a lot of changes in your code towards the end of your interview when this expectation will later come up so it's always a good thing that you keep this expectation early and all of these three questions you can ask in any uh, i would say arbitrary order there is nothing like you have to ask in these particular orders only but these cl this clarity you need to have before your next llld interview because uh, whatever preparation you have done in understanding the design patterns in understanding writing clean maintainable code if you have not getting you are not getting the clarity on the solution requirement then the final solution that you might build might not be the thing that the interviewer is actually looking for right and if they tell you these requirements towards the end or after the first 30 minutes of the interview then you will be in a lot of rush so it's always good to have not just all the feature requirements but also the solution requirement that what kind of solution you are actually expecting from me different different type of ld questions might fit in different different boxes for example sometimes let's say you are expected to design an elevator in that case probably a C like uh, i'm just giving my opinion that probably a cli based application with a in memory db will be fine with working functionality of an elevator right but sometimes let's say you are actually expected to code a stock uh, trading app in that kind of a scenario maybe only the entity diagrams might be enough or the entity classes might be enough sometimes people can actually ask you to code maybe a book my show in that case maybe a database interaction and rest api interaction is also required along with a complete feature flow of booking of one ticket maybe cancellation flow can be coming up later if you have more time so depending on how much time you have you will be having different different expectation altogether so always have this clarity around the social solution requirement the three questions that is whether you need to have a rest api or a cli based interaction what kind of a data store you are looking at and do we only want to code the entity classes or we also need to code the end to end functionality altogether so i hope these solution requirements and feature requirements are making sense to all of you and i hope this video will help you to ace your next low level design or machine coding interview altogether that being said let's wrap this particular video here we are going to meet soon in the next set of videos where we are going to continue our discussion on a lot more topics around tech and career till then take care bye bye i am sanket singh signing off